There's a lot of information on the internet that is hard to know if it's true or not. Don't eat fruit or eat more fruit. Eat more meat or go vegan. Eat less calories and don't worry about the content. Although some of the information can be subjective on the person and their goals or their own body chemistry, most of the time it's going to be consistent for everyone. So let's cut the BS and look scientifically into what foods you should always eat on a regular basis to burn fat and build muscle, as well as just being overall extremely healthy for your body. Let the feast begin. In my 15 years of helping thousands of people transform their bodies, I've learned along the way of giving firsthand experience on what works and what doesn't. So let's get started with the first food, eggs. Eggs is one of the most nutrient dense foods you can eat on the planet and has a multitude of reasons for that. In a nutshell, eggs are a developing embryo that has the highest density of nutrients to help that embryo grow. This means that eggs are packed with some of the best antioxidants, all nine essential amino acids, including leucine, which is the only amino acid that's sole purpose is to promote skeletal muscle growth, the highest quality proteins, and a lot of them, and mostly mono and polyunsaturated fats that are the good fats and have cholesterol that has been proven to raise your HDL, which is the good cholesterol, and lower the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. There are some eggs that are better than others, but in general, all eggs have incredible properties in helping achieve the goals to become healthier. I wanna preface the next food by saying that most all fruits have some great benefits, including amazing vitamins and typically low in calories. They sometimes get a bad rap because they're high in sugar. Excuse me, but this has powdered sugar on it and I ordered no sugar. I really can't have too much sugar in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry, look at that. You're absolutely right. I'll tell you what, let me take this back and bring out a new piece. However, not all sugar is the same. Fruit sugar can be metabolized easier and usually comes alongside of the high fiber most fruit has, which will slow down digestion and not spike glucose levels like table sugar. The issues arise when you take away parts of the fruit by making a juice or concentrate. I usually never limit fruit on a client unless they seem to be stagnant in their goals and their macros are way off because of the high fruit consumption. So what is the next food? Blueberries. Blueberries are one of the highest antioxidant fruits out there, helping with digestion, skin, brain function, heart disease. They're packed with polyphenols and minerals as well as tons of fiber. And this low calorie fruit will fill you up and regulate blood sugar better than most. This fruit literally does everything. It helps fight cancer, it'll make you smarter with more mental acuity. It'll even make you prettier by fighting free radicals in your skin. Now, just like eggs, you wanna make sure that you're getting organic as often as possible. I grow my own blueberries in my backyard and freeze the ones that we don't eat during the season. The last food you should never miss out on if you want to build more muscle and burn more fat is more of a group than it is one in particular. And that group is lean red meats. Some of the best things like lean beef, bison, elk, venison, and lamb. Most of these meats contain proteins and amino acids not found in plants or other meats, such as zinc, iron, creatine, selenium, niacin, conjugated linoleic acid, and phosphorus, just to name a few. Now let me mention that I am not talking about processed meats like pepperoni, bacon, beef jerky, sausage, or anything like that. The only red meats I'll eat from are from local farms around my area. Local beef and venison are my top consumptions, but I'll throw in some bison and lamb as well. A lot of the people wouldn't associate beef with giving you energy either, but lean red meats also contain taurine, which is found in most energy drinks. Pretty crazy. So now I want to also mention that I wholeheartedly believe that animal-based protein is superior than plant-based. Plants are very much under-eaten for most people, but the proteins are just not the same. Most animals are able to convert certain things like nitrogen and other elements from plants that we simply cannot. Protein from plants is also attached to the fiber used for structure of the plant, so we just don't process in the same way when we eat animal-based protein. I hope this helps, and remember to eat foods that only existed before the 21st century. That is my golden rule. Go back to the basics and stay away from the inside aisles in a grocery store. Implement these three in particular and watch your waistline shrink while you become stronger every single day.